Some much needed changes are coming to Omaha's Hanscom Park. Neighbors are gathering there soon to hear from the city's parks department about it. You'll find Hanscom Park northwest of Interstate 480 and Martha Street. Our Lena Tillette is there and joins us now live with the story. Hi, John and Mallory. Uh, the Hanscom Park Neighborhood Association is expecting dozens of families to hear from the Parks Department about some of these major changes that are coming to this park. This is actually the second public meeting that they had. The first was in February, and they're going to be going over some of the suggestions brought up in that first meeting and essentially voting on it. There were two main priorities that families had. One was building a brand new playground, and another was uh, building more walkways so that there's better accessibility to neighborhoods. In fact, where I'm standing right now is a proposed location for one of the playgrounds. Here's a rendering uh, of some of those changes here. The, the dotted lines show where new walkways will be to the surrounding streets. Families will be able to walk into the park instead of having to drive into the park, which uh, I'm told will hopefully draw more people to the park. Hanscom Park uh, Neighborhood Association President Jim Clements says he's happy with a lot of the changes that he's heard. The playground is more than 20 years old and pretty outdated. And he says less walkways could keep out families and bring in people that they don't want here. Uh, future plans might include even adding an amphitheater here, according to the Parks Department. But Clemens says his main concern is for the many young families in this neighborhood who right now are choosing other newer parks. If you don't have, you know, the access or the quality of a playground, then you're going to go to another park. That's why you see a lot of families at Exarbon. So we'd like the families that are here that are maybe going there by having a nicer playground, utilizing the park. Now, I'm also told that the public's work department will be speaking about uh, the CSO project, which is coming to this area, and it's supposed to reduce some of the overflow into the river. I'm told that project will be happening, though, uh, in about 2017. The timeline for the changes to the, the this particular park in terms of the playground and the walkways is supposed to happen in 2016. So they're going to talk about how these two timelines will work together. Uh, in total, it's going to be uh, worth about $400,000. Uh, in terms of the expenses for the playground and for the walkways. John and Mallory. All right, thank you. That's Lena Tillette reporting live tonight.